I'm Jamie and this is Mountain Strong Mom. Today I'm going to be talking about planners and how you can use planners more effectively depending on what kind of person you are. I'm a super visual person so that's the kind of style of planning that I do. I hope I can give you some good tips today so you can plan smarter. First off, separating your days into three parts. You can do morning, afternoon, evening, or you can do work, family, and personal. Whatever speaks to you is the best way to do it. I think it's a great way to find time throughout the day if I need to add things into my schedule when I have the most time. I have the most energy in the morning, but I have a lot of time in the afternoon because my daughter naps in the afternoon. So these are just things to think about when you're considering how you want to set up your uh, planner. Happy thoughts and daily blessings. So I've done this my entire life. My mom used to ask me, what's your happy thought of the day? What's your happy thought of the day? And it can be the littlest thing, but those little gems of your day is what make up your whole life. And you know how sometimes you'll be like, at the end of the day, you're like, what did I do this week? Like, you can't remember anything. Like, nothing stands out. But every day, writing down a couple things that were wonderful about that day can be so magical. Because you have all, like, at the end, you have a planner full of all these wonderful moments that you've had throughout the year. That you probably wouldn't have remembered if you didn't write them down. Now, as well as setting weekly goals, you can set weekly activities that need to be done. I started to do this with my daughter when she was about six months old, the activities each week I wanted to do with her. Because I found that some weeks I didn't do a whole lot, like we just kind of chilled and weren't really that active. But setting a goal each week to do three activities and already having all the supplies for those activities, knowing those activities were going to happen that week, it really helped me be a better mom in the sense of each week I knew what I was doing. Another thing that you can do is meal plan or set a menu for your family. This is wonderful. I think it really cuts down on grocery shopping because when you cook what you already have, it's so much smarter than like you have all these, to me, you have all these foods and then you like you go grocery shopping and you eat off the top. And you go grocery shopping and eat off the top. And you slowly grow that amount of food that kind of sits in the back of your food pantry that you thought was a good idea or it was on sale but you don't eat it. Now, a cleaning schedule. So being a stay-at-home mom, I feel like this immense pressure for my house to be clean and it's not but I try to keep it as clean as I can and I used to every day all day like oh my gosh I should clean I should clean all the time it was really ridiculous and a few months ago I found this really great system to where I would clean three days a week and I have my list of things that I do on cleaning days and then each time like each of those days I try to do two or three things on the list it's worked out pretty well. And then on one day of the week, I do one extra thing. Like, I'll change the sheets, I'll dust the fans, just jobs that I normally don't do. But if I keep on top of them semi-regularly, I feel a lot better as a mom knowing I'm keeping my house at least okayly clean. And then I don't have those pressures on, like, those in-between days where I'm like, I should clean right now. I should clean right now. No, it's fine. I clean on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Or whatever. So I like to use my planner to create routines. I'm all about changing up routines and improving my routine all the time. So I put it on the side of my planner and then I'll do a check off each day when I'm doing it. I started this at the beginning of the year because I wanted to start a new skincare routine because my skin is booty. Not right now, but my entire life it's been booty. So I started a new routine where I did it in the morning, in the evening, X amount of products. And every day I checked it off twice a day. And it really helped. So if you're trying to form any habits or you're having any pushback with anything you're trying to um, add into your life, really checking it off in your planner can be really motivating. Creating blank pages in your planner. So this is a wonderful thing to do where you can add more information to your planner. Just cover up the old pages. Like if you get a planner and it's already a couple months into the year or you get a school planner and you're a couple months in anyway, this can be great to just cover all those old pages and then put things that are important to you and your family in them. If you need to keep on top of like your pet's health, you can put all the information you need on a page. And then you can do notes about like their allergic reactions to different medicines, their different trips to the vet, their weight. Whatever you're doing, you can put it in your planner and then you'll always have that information there. Because like, you know when your brain's buzzing with all these things that you try not to forget, you're like, don't forget that, don't forget that. All the time, if you write it down, it kind of calms the mind a little bit. And it keeps that information in a secure location to where your brain trusts that you're going to keep that information and they don't need to remember it all the time.
So I have a grab bag for my planner. I use just an old Ipsy bag and I put all my little tools in it and then like if I have a color scheme going, I'll put like a couple markers, couple colored pencils in the bag to where it's super easy for me to decorate if I want to or color in or check off whatever I need to. I really recommend it. It's like a fun little thing. If you need like a small creative outlet along to go with the organization, anxiety, whatever, it's a great tool. I hope I was able to help you in your planning. Have a wonderful day. Bye.